Hi everyone, you are on How Fix It. If your PS4 Pro is overheating and making a lot of noise, I will show you how to take it apart, clean it from dust, and replace the thermal paste. This is the first generation of PS4 Pro, model CUH7016. If your PS4 Pro second generation, like a CUH7216, to this video guide, I left a link in the description. Also, in the description, I left a link to a video where I test the effectiveness of liquid metal in PS4 Pro and thermal paste. This video will be of interest to owners of the first generation PS4 Pro. What you need for the disassembly of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Torx T8 screwdriver with a hole inside, and Phillips 1 screwdriver. Plastic pry tools. Tweezers. Thermal paste. Anti-static brush. The PlayStation 4 has a lot of screws of different sizes, and it is very important to screw them in the right places. I recommend using a magnetic mat and keeping track of each screw step by step. This will help to reassemble your game console successfully, and don't worry about losing any of the screws. All of them will definitely remain on the magnetic mat. In the description, I left links where to buy all the necessary tools. Let's start disassembling the PS4 Pro. Remove the plastic cover over the hard drive. Use a Phillips 1 screwdriver to remove one screw. Then remove the hard drive. Remove the warranty seal. Then, using a Torx T8 screwdriver, remove the three screws. PS4 Pro CUH7100 series only has one warranty seal and one screw. Now, nothing prevents you from removing the bottom cover. But first, I show you the place from which you need to start opening the game console housing. On the back of the device, you need to grab the two corners with your fingertips and pull up until you hear a loud click. Now slide the cover back and remove it. A lot of dust has accumulated inside the PlayStation 4 Pro housing, which prevents effective ventilation inside the system. Remove the two screws that hold the power supply in place. Remove the top cover in the same way as the bottom cover. Grip the cover on the corner and just pull up until it clicks. Then, when you are sure the cover is off, slide the cover back. Also, remove all dust from the game console housing.
Use a Torx T8 screwdriver to remove five screws from the power supply. Remove the power supply by pulling it up, but be careful not to pull too far. The power supply is still connected with one cable. Grip the connector on the power supply and pull it out. The PS4 Pro cooling system blows airflow through the power supply, which is why so much dust accumulates inside the power supply. I recommend opening the power supply housing and cleaning the dust inside. Disconnect all ribbon cables and antenna cables from the main board. Remove all screws on the metal plate.
the back of the metal plate also accumulates dust. On the back side of the metal plate, there are thermal pads from VRAM chips. Do not lose them. Please note, it is necessary to remove the screws evenly on each side, with a few turns of each screw. Grip the edge of the motherboard and slowly lift it upwards from the game console housing. Use only an anti-static brush to clean the motherboard from dust. As you can see, the heatsink is completely clogged with dust, which prevents effective cooling of the game console. Therefore, your PS4 Pro is overheating, and the fan is making a lot of noise trying to reduce the heat level of the heatsink. It is impossible to remove such a layer of dust by blowing with compressed air. Even if you use a high-pressure compressor, such a layer of dust cannot be squeezed out of the PS4 housing and will remain inside the system causing the fan to fail. Also, remove all dust from the fan.
Remove the thermal paste from APU and heatsink. Use isopropyl alcohol if the thermal paste is very dry and difficult to remove. Apply a small amount of thermal paste to the APU chip. Then, using a plastic tool, spread it evenly over the entire surface of the chip. I tested different thermal greases to find the best one for PS4 Pro. If you don't know which thermal paste to choose for your game console, check out the links in the description. Installing the motherboard, make sure that the power supply cable goes into this hole. Please note, do not over-tighten the screws to avoid damaging the APU chip. Tighten the screws evenly on each side with a few turns of each screw.
I really appreciate you watching my video guides. You can ask all additional questions regarding the repair in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.